Hi, I'm Adam Abraham. I've had some amazing conversations since starting my radio show, Talk for Food, with some amazing people who have dedicated themselves to making a measurable, demonstrable change in our world. Uh, Jim Humble is certainly one that many people have heard of, uh, not only heard from as a result of some of the conversations we've had, but also from the documentary that I eventually produced. But there have been others. There are a number, many, many amazing people who have singularly, without any fanfare, been doing what they can, uh, using their knowledge, using their intelligence, using their courage to do something to help make a change in this world, to help us wake up from and heal from our collective stupor, okay? Paul Pantone is one such person who I knew nothing about up to uh, the 2011 Tesla Tech Conference. I'd never heard of him before, even though somewhere I had heard of Geet before. I think I had seen it somewhere. I didn't know what it was, and in fact, even after reading some of, about it, I wasn't sure, what is this? You know, global environmental energy technology, what is that? Well, uh, when I met him at the Tesla Tech Conference, we sat down and he told me a bit about what Geek is. Every week I try to bring a class, or every couple of weeks I bring a class in, and I teach them everything I can. Not just about Geek. I have over 650 other inventions. I teach things that uh, go way beyond your curriculum you'll find anywhere in the world. As you can imagine, my mind was actually already racing as he started with this. What happens is the exhaust is leaving the engine. Here he's describing the GEET fuel processor. As it's leaving the engine, we have a fuel pipe going in through the center of the exhaust in the opposite direction. Now, you have heat leaving, which always spins in a natural spin, clockwise towards the exhaust. We have the new vapor, which is ice cold, coming into that hot exhaust. The temperature gradient going. Tremendous temperature differential there. Yeah. With both of them are spinning in opposite directions, yes. creating an electromagnetic field. While the heat is trying to be pulled into the coolness of the new vapor being pulled in, we have an expansion. And during the period of three and a half inches, inches, you can have as much as 100 to 150 increases where the vapor is actually doubled and redoubled and redoubled and redoubled. So you start out with one cubic inch of air moving into it and you have two or three hundred cubic inches coming out of it. This now, is how tornadoes do their thing. <laughs> I'm the only person I know right now on the planet that can actually create a tornado mm -hmm. right here on this table mm -hmm. that you could film and study and play with and actually stop a tornado. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. That is in my training manual, okay. which, um, which is one of the reasons I'm trying to get all the scientists to work for me here. Do you get the impression that schools of higher learning are not exactly breaking down his door to learn, to learn about this, to adopt and to propagate this information? Mm -hmm. Would you like to help document how to make a tornado and how to stop one? Yes. Would you like to be able to stop a tornado before it can cause damage? Would you like to be able to do x-rays? without radiation. Mm -hmm. Would you like to do an MRI for under a hundred dollars? My answer to this question was yes. Let's get started. We're doing things that are very revolutionary. Mm -hmm. All of it using GEET technology. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. All, right. All of it is basic natural phenomenon. So the upshot of that conversation was this. I gained a great amount of respect for and interest in the knowledge that Paul Pantone, the additional knowledge, the t knowledge the t that we didn't have the time to talk about. But my interest was peaked, to be sure. And uh, I'm happy to say that Paul extended an invitation for me to come and visit him in Oklahoma and to talk more. The result of that visit is a recording of those conversations which will be available on four DVDs under a single title of Indelible Promise. It is simply Paul Pantone 
with a little of me here and there. And really, it's all you need. Let's talk about how the GEET fuel processor actually works and what it does and, what, and the principle behind it. Well, it's an acceleration chamber. Dr. William Sue made the comparison uh, back in about 1996, 97. Uh, he worked 20 years of his life on a seven-mile circle underground in Beijing. And when he came over and looked at ours, he held up the rod that's in the center of it, that makes it all work, and he says, uh, what you do for 25 cents, we do for billions of dollars. The big difference is yours works. You're talking about an acceleration a chamber. A nuclear accelerator. You found a way of accelerating the molecules and exciting them and exchanging heat in such a way that you can break it down. It's a total transmutation of elements. You're able to produce hydrogen and helium from crude oil. And you release all of these elements in an electrical field that's self-generated. We can't do that. Paul understands so much. He has a perspective that is, for me at least, so refreshingly profound. And the profundity of it is that it's accessible. When he talks, you really understand what he's getting at. You even get the implications of it. You get the nuances. Now, when we started pointing the rod up, it was because repeatedly throughout the Bible, I recognize, since many of the things we've dealt with are found in the book of Ezekiel, and other Bibles, uh, we started checking into what it said real closely. And he mentions that the chariot came from the north. Mm -hmm. Well, wait a minute, did they have compasses back then? Well, how about when Isaiah said he looked north to the heavens? Or Moses, when he looked north mm -hmm. and asked for guidance? Well, north was up. Simply they didn't as have, simple as that. That's it. Uh -huh. they, a north star? Mm -hmm. He looked north to the heavens? Um, I'm sorry, we didn't have compasses back then, so north was up. We have referred to this as biblical north. It's not esoteric in the sense that it's outside or beyond our ability to comprehend. And on the other hand, it talks about and covers information that should be public knowledge, it should be general understanding about science, uh, and about the potentials and our potentials as human beings, as humanity. The number of applications for using plasma energy is unlimited. It could replace our need for fuel in every piece of equipment we now have on the planet. It could take products that we now consider waste, vaporize it to then use that as a new fuel. Uh, how much energy is there in a, a can? Well, most people would look at an empty can. We don't want to promote a name brand here, but uh, they look at this can and say, well, empty, that's only worth two cents or five cents for re recycling value. Well, that represents, using a gate reactor and understanding the process, the equivalence of three and a half gallons of gasoline. So what is that can worth to me? A lot more than it is to you. And so I'm here to tell you of indelible promise. And the reason it's called that is because there is... A, a relationship. There is a potential, you could say a promise, that cannot be erased. And it is between nature and humanity. It is between kindreds. And it is about technology and the use of technology that acknowledges and honors that relationship. That to me is what GEET does. It honors the relationship between humanity and nature, and some amazing things are possible. Many of the things that we have been able to accomplish, according to science, was not possible. But once you start bringing the scientists in and showing them, that's when they back up and go, okay, our books are wrong. But continue. What's next? Come on, teach us. Uh, that's what I'm all about. I love teaching. It's a simple conversation and a sharing. Uh, sharing of information that should be fully and well and widely known. But in that time, in that series of videos, there's information that we can do something with collectively as well as individually. So I invite you to get your copy of Indelible Promise and begin to rekindle that relationship with our ability to transform our world because 
we certainly need to do so. That is, that's, I think we can all agree, we need to make a change. Ultimately, the change needs to be intelligent. If we are doing it by destruction, which is our, has been our way, it just gets us more of what we become familiar with. So, indelible promise, Paul Pantone, order yours today.